Here on this Tobacco University video, we're going to go over some mathematical equations so you know how to adjust your organic matter and not just kind of eyeballing it where you could add way too much or if you're looking at purchasing it, you might not purchase enough. All right, let's get into adjusting organic matter in soil. Now, as I said, this will be a math kind of a based kind of approach. So you're suggested to maybe let me go through it once, pause it for yourself, and then go back over um, the information there to apply your own information to it. So first off, when we're adjusting organic matter in soil, we want to know the present organic matter percentage in the soil. Uh, the organic matter percentage in the organic amendment we'll be adding. In this case, I'm going to use peat moss as an example, as well as compost. And the percentage organic matter desired in the mix of the two. Uh, the volume ratio of the two that must be combined will be determined as follows. So you have to always start with that soil test and having an organic matter per percentage calculated on that soil test. So that is going to provide you with the letter A here. So this is going to be the kind of equation we're going to go over. A is the current soil organic matter percentage in your soil. That's based on your soil test. B represents the organic percentage of the organic amendment. Now, as I said, you can assume to be 100% for peat moss or compost are typically around 25 to 35%. C would be the target soil organic matter percentage after amendment has been added. We're going to use about 5% uh, for our target. This will calculate X, which is the fraction by weight of dry soil in the final mix, and 1 minus X is the fraction by weight of dry organic amendment needed in the mix. We'll also take this one step further and go from weight to actually a volume, which is what most people usually purchase things in or tend to think in. So let's look at converting weights to volumes. Well, the basic equation is going to be to convert weights, which is x and 1 minus x, to volumes, since you know how one will work with, with the material. Uh, a conversion must be made using the dry bulk densities of the material to be mixed. So PS, located right here, is the dry bulk density of the soil. And for soil, it's usually 1.0 to 1.2 grams per cubic centimeter, and that can also be usually found on most soil reports. PO, represented right here, is the dry bulk density of the organic amendment. The dry bulk densities for peat moss is 0.15 grams per cc, or compost is typically 0.5 to 0.7 grams per cc. And again, if you're using a different um, dry bulk density for your organic amendment, try to research and find out what the bulk density is of that amendment. S and T here, S is the volume of parts of soil material, T is the volume of parts of organic amendments. So when you divide S by T, you obtain the volume of parts per soil per one volume of organic amendment. So while this is a lot of information here, this is that background, let's go through an example and hope it makes a little bit more sense here. So here's that example. Now keep in mind, right below me here, I provide you with what I've shown before, what A, B, C, X, and 1 minus X stand for. Now I've given us an example here to work with. In the sense, if we sent our soil out and we get our organic matter percentage at 3.4%, we're going to be adding peat moss, at a, which is considered to be 100%, and our target organic matter percentage would be 5%. So the question becomes, how much peat moss do I need to add to my soil, which is 3.4%, to get to that f target value of 5.0% or soil organic matter? So let's go through that. Well, we take 100 minus 5, which is the B minus A, which is the organic matter percentage of the amendment, in this case peat moss, minus the target organic matter percentage. And we divide that by 100 minus 3.4 or in this case, it'd be B minus C minus A. 100, which is the peat moss, which is the organic amendment we'll be adding, minus the soil organic matter, the A here. When we take this and subtract those and divide it by that, we get 9.834. And X minus 1 is to get the fraction by weight of the dry peat moss needed in the mix, which is uh, 0.0166. However, we want to convert these weights to volumes because that's typically how we think. So this is all converted here to get to the weights. We're now going to take this next step in the next slide to go to volumes. So here we see the same numbers carried over. Um, and here's our x, here's our x minus 1. The PS is at 1.1 grams per cc. That would be the bulk density of the soil. And then PO is the dry bulk density of the organic amendment because this is peat moss we're using 0.15 grams per cc. And we see here, we apply it to the equation right here. 
we get our S, we get our T, we divide our S by a T, and we get 8.076. So what does that number equate to or mean? Well, that means, so you would add about eight parts of soil per one part of peat moss, which translated would be eight cubic yards of soil to every one cubic yard of peat moss to get to that target level of 5.0% organic matter from that original start of 3.4%. So hopefully this kind of gives you some uh, information here to kind of go through your own. And to go back for just one moment, with all this information here, you can easily find what A, B, and C are. You could take your soil test reports, apply that information to this example here, and hopefully develop a calculation so you'll know exactly how, much, uh, how many cubic yards to purchase to ensure you're getting the target soil organic matter that you want without overbuying or underbuying. And it's, this is a lot better than eyeballing it. So take a little time to go over this. It'll be worth it in the end.